Hey, what's up guys? Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you a very special drift build. This is the Corvette C6R, or what I like to call the Devil's Drift Car. This thing is insane, and not exactly insane totally in a good way. Um, it is hard to control. Um, it is not a beginner drift car at all. Um, if you want a challenge, tune this thing. Tune this thing and drift it because it is it is just crazy. Once you start drifting it, you will get you'll get a lot of angle. However, you cannot go beyond a certain point because if you go beyond just if you step beyond this car's limits, uh it, beyond the limits of oversteer just once it will whip around and send you flying into a wall every single time. This car will punish you if you get it wrong. Think of, I mean, a lot of a lot of drift cars are pretty forgiving. This one is not. This one is the exact opposite of forgiving. This one will punish you for every single mistake you make. And trust me, I drifted this on multiple tracks, and it 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 threw me into the wall. It literally threw me into the wall if I if I wasn't totally focused a hundred and and a hundred and fifty percent of the time because this thing is it, it's just crazy if you guys haven't built one of these yet I highly recommend going and building one um, it is a little bit of an expensive car at oh I mean I believe it's like one million one hundred thousand credits but it's worth it it's incredible <laughs> it's incredible. The experience of drifting this thing is is worth it alone. I mean, when you start drifting this thing, you have to throw everything you thought you knew about drifting out the window because it you have to you have to take your drifting to another level of focus when you drive this thing because there is no way that you'll just be able to jump into it and drift. Now, this now since this is a race car, I basically all the only things that you can do to the engine, the only things that you can do to the engine are taking take the restrictors off. Now, if you take if you take the restrictors completely off, which is what I've done for this car, you'll end up with around oh, I believe 770 something horsepower somewhere around there. However, you will be, and then remember, this is a naturally aspirated car. You will be in the neighborhood of 830, 840 rear wheel torque. And that is just insane. So if you guys want an insane drift car, try this thing out. And if you guys like that video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're new around here, click subscribe. 